I think we can officially say that Joseph Bastianich is over. So last time we talked, Gwyneth Westwood, the founder of My Not So Berry Challenge, pretended like she wasn't upset with her fiancé Joseph Bastianich, while her daughter and our heir, Rosalie Bastianich, got into a fight with Joseph. Her starting to see his true colors got asked out on a date by her friend, Levi Birch, and became closer with her classmate Courtney James. The two of them spending the whole school day together side by side. And Joseph shaved his fucking beard. Now he he looks like a sims to sim. Luckily, Gwyneth wasn't going to see all that right now. She was heading out for a night with Tanisha at the club, and would probably be staying the night. She was so exhausted and dazed from everything going on with Joseph and just needed a break. She wanted to feel young and free and wild, so she had a simgarette as she waited for Tanisha to meet her at the luxury nightclub rooftop in San Michuna. Tanisha arrived, looking stunning. They shared a thoughtful embrace, one that melted all of Gwyneth's troubles away. Why do you want to spend time with Gwyneth's baby mama? Does Joseph know? Regardless, it's not like Gwyneth would care. She felt so much peace when she was with Tanisha, something she'd rarely felt being with Joseph. And she was satisfied with her view as she walked up the stairs into the nightclub. She couldn't believe she lied to herself about her attraction to Tanisha for so long, and for what? Joseph. It was ridiculous for her to think he'd ever change, or for her to make herself unhappy for the sake of their kids, but things were changing now. She wanted Tanisha. The two of them headed for the bar, immediately getting flirtatious with one another. They chatted about everything besides Joseph, what drinks to order, how Bella was doing, what they'd be doing to each other later at Tanisha's apartment. The two of them ordered the same strawberry drinks, and once Gwyneth was a little tipsy, everything she was holding back about Joseph seemed to just slip right out of her mouth. How he was so oblivious that she knew how he could just lie to her face with zero remorse. How he's treating their daughter Rosalie like a toddler and not like a young woman. She was so sick of him, sick of seeing him, sick of hearing him, everything. But she knew that she was killing the vibe, and that she came all this way to have fun, not vent about Joseph. So, she took a few more sips of her drink and focused on what really mattered right now, quality time with Tanisha. The both of them ordered the same drink twice. The incessant flirting wasn't stopping anytime soon. And more than ever, Gwyneth wanted to dance. She joined Tanisha on the dance floor, which was flooded with ghost sims. I didn't know, you can still party in the afterlife, Maybe Alexis is here. Yes, Nisha. Break it down, Sitch. Gwyneth was having such a good time. Her and Joseph hadn't partied since the day she confessed her feelings for him. The club was packed. The DJ was great. It was such a vibe. And the alcohol. Well... It had reached her simusi. She wanted Tanisha bad, but Tanisha wasn't ready to go home just yet. She continued drinking, dancing, and missily kissing Gwyneth on the dance floor. Who cares who's watching? Gwyneth had never felt so good. She'd never been shown off in public. She'd never partied with her lover because they couldn't be around alcohol. She hadn't had real fun in a very long time, and she hated Joseph. God, did she really hate him? She wanted him to pay. She wanted him to suffer. She kinda wished he would walk into this club right now and see Tanisha loving on her. Make him see what he lost. That would show him. It was safe to say that the girlies were plastered, so they headed back to Tanisha's place, taking a moment in the hallway. This was nice. They had real chemistry. A real connection to one another, something Gwyneth never felt with Joseph. She was so mad at herself for wasting so much time with him. She could have been with Tanisha instead, but she also needed to stop dreading. What's done is done. She now needed to think about her future, and she wanted one with Tanisha. But after they get wicked on Tanisha's couch, of course. Once again, the girls were going at it all night, and it was ten times better drunk. Now since the two were sobered and washed up, Tanisha sat Gwyneth down. She needs to tell her something important. And again, it was about Joseph. She did something kinda crazy, but she figured Gwyneth would like it. She'd found out who Tessa is, and it's worse than they thought. Tanisha kinda followed Joseph from his job yesterday to a house in Henford on Bagley. She saw him speaking to someone, a toddler. 
Tessa isn't a woman Joseph is cheating on Gwyneth with. Tessa is Joseph's child. Oh Joseph. You are a dead man. It really was worse than she thought. Because that didn't just mean Joseph cheated on her with Tessa's mom. It also meant he knocked her up. Since Tessa was so young, that meant Joseph cheated on her recently. Very recently. She wasn't going to say. She couldn't believe it this time. She most certainly can believe it. And that was probably why Joseph randomly apologized to her and got his act together. He felt guilty. Well, that wasn't gonna cut it. Gwyneth was just exhausted, and she was angry, and unfortunately for Tess's mum, she would be doing something about it. She called out of work. She had business to handle. Tanisha remembered Tess's address. Gwyneth leaving for it immediately, she made sure the coast was clear, and that's when she saw her. Little Tessa, Joseph's big secret. Literally, why is she always outside? Without raising alarms, Gwyneth marched for the front door, finding it unlocked. She wanted to look into the eyes of the woman that Joseph thought was good enough to lose everything for. But she waited for the woman's husband to leave before getting into the nitty-gritty. Him finding out like this was too easy. She stormed right up to Tess's mom and started making a scene. She told her exactly who she was, Gwyneth Westwood, and that she knew everything. Maybe her husband husband would like to know about it too. She claimed she didn't know what Gwyneth was talking about and began walking away. Gwyneth followed her, getting all up in her face. Sarah shoved her after screaming at her to get out of her house. And that's when Gwyneth unleashed all of her in a rage. That's what she gets for lying to her face. You woohoo her fiancé, had his baby, and have the nerve to tell her you don't know what she's talking about. Gwyneth told her to own up to it, woman to woman, and to tell her everything if she wasn't a complete trash sim. Sarah knew she was cornered and that the truth was out, so she confessed. Yes, she did woohoo with Joseph and had his baby. She stressed that they only woohooed once and that Joseph never told her that he was in a relationship. Gwyneth didn't believe a word she said. She helped ruin her family, and she should be ashamed of herself, wasting her marriage away. Gwyneth would kill to be a married woman. Sarah didn't really know what else to say. And at this point, neither did Gwyneth. Yelling at Sarah wasn't going to solve anything, so she walked outside. Discovering that little Tessa was still there by herself. Sarah is a terrible wife and mother. How dare she leave this baby outside all alone? She went and said hello to her, and her heart dropped. Tessa looked just like Joseph and eerily similar to Rosalie. She was beautiful. Gwyneth's migraines were back, she wanted a simgarette bad, all this stress because of Joseph. Well, that was over, she was done stressing over him, it was time to let him go. Sarah saw Gwyneth talking to Tessa outside. She told Gwyneth to stay away from her daughter and from her family before taking Tessa back inside. Well, if anything, Gwyneth knew one thing. She wasn't perfect, and she was no good at picking men, but if there was one thing she was good at, it was being a mother, unlike Sarah. And one thing mothers must do is protect their kids. Protect them from shitty parents like Joseph. She has to get rid of him. She just didn't know how she was going to do it. 